Now, as Nigeria joined the rest of the world to mark the International Day of the Girl Child, the Health for All initiative, HAFIA, has called for more support for girls and women, especially as it relates to their menstrual hygiene management. The initiative, in partnership with the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands, while launching a book on menstrual hygiene management in Abuja for adolescent young girls, say many of them miss school as there are inadequate sanitary facilities to manage their periods properly. The group distributed free sanitary, core, eco-friendly, reusable and cheap menstrual hygiene kits to school-age girls at the event, while also calling on the federal government to adopt proper hygiene management of women and girls as a human rights issue, in other to boost the girl-child education. Menstruation is a natural biologic process experienced by nearly all women of reproductive age. An average woman will have about 450 menstrual cycles in her lifetime. That is, she sees her period cumulatively for 38 years of her life. So if half of the world population are women, and every woman everywhere menstruates, why then are we not talking about periods? Why are we trivializing issues around periods? Why are we not speaking about it? Why do women lack sanitary products? Why do women lack sanitary infrastructures? Why do women lack information? Why are women isolated? The question I ask our society is why? Adolescent girls are the most vulnerable to the negative outcomes related to periods. Aside from the effect on their overall self-esteem and confidence, like you saw in the video clip, they suffer a lot of health implications when they use unhygienic substances like rags, newspapers, just anything they can lay their hands on to manage their period month after month. Imagine being a girl or a woman living in a condition whereby you, the only shelter you have is you know, made of cloth. Every, Everything that you do, you are very sensitive to that, and then you are exposed to a lot of harm from all quarters. You know, you are more um, exposed to violence, you are more exposed to um, being uncomfortable. Access to even sanitary facilities is very, very limited. So, um, in humanitarian setting, the gender based violence is unimaginable, and we have people over we have millions of people right now in Nigeria living in this condition. One of the best investments for your Naira or your dollar or your Euro or your Australian dollar for that matter uh, in development, one of your very best investments in development is to invest in the, in, in the education of girls. Countries lose out enormous amounts of money because they don't pay enough attention to getting girls into school. When a girl goes to school until the age of 18, she is much better prepared to take up her role in society. Girls with good education generally earn twice as much for society than girls that haven't been completing their education. So that's, that's one major effect. Another effect is that girls that go to school until the age of 18 plan their families much more wisely. 